Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to another episode of our Planet Zoo Franchise Mode Let's Play. Where we're diving right back into Elite Zoo South to pick things up where we left them off. As always, where else would you pick them up, right? Folks, as we dive in, as always, I just want to mention if you've been enjoying the series and you would like to see it continue, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel. As you probably very well know by now, it affects what I do more or less of and how I go about doing it. So leaving a like or a comment, I look at the numbers for a quick read on what folks are interested in seeing on the channel. And then I actually do read through each and every comment uh, just to get a more, you know, sort of fine understanding of how people are feeling. So if you've got any thoughts, opinions, feelings, ideas, anecdotes, anything you want to share, the comments is where to share them. Uh, apart from that, I want to mention as well, of course, if you haven't already joined our Discord, that is also another excellent place to share any of your own thoughts and opinions and uh, your own work as well. If you've got, you know, if you've got the game as well and you'd like to uh, to show some things off, feel free to uh, do it there. Plus, it's got, well, we talk about all sorts of other games and stuff as well. So feel free to join in. Link is in the description down below. Now, I feel like we could probably dive into a time lapse right off the bat today uh, and and just get to work and finishing some stuff off. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to balance today's episode out. Money's doing more than okay. Uh, you know, we're, we're very well covered there on that front. So I'm not really worried about our financial situation, diving into a time lapse early or anything like that. Our animals are all pretty well happy, I'm pretty sure. Good and satisfied outside of some of these exhibit animals, which is probably because we have way too many of them. So let's go ahead and fix that up. You know what? Let's, okay, let's do this really quickly here. Uh, back at Elite Zoo North, we had this uh, system every once in a while we'd go through and we would clean up our exhibits, make sure everything is doing okay, make sure everybody is properly, you know, on the topic of everything doing okay. Hang on a second. Where are these protesters? Where are these protesters? Why do we have protesters in the zoo? What are they protesting? They literally just came here. For the red-eyed treehouse. Alright, what's the deal here? Wow, that's the deal here. Man. I mean, it's, 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 it's not a significant fine. Which is okay. But it is unfortunate. Because I was just about to take care of all this. Um, anyway, I think we can do it all while unpaused. I, I don't think we need to stay paused. We've been doing pretty smoothly so far. Uh, we're not at that scale. We're not big enough where... Um, where, you know, every second 100 notifications pop up like we were at the end of Elite Zoo uh, North. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, we had this sort of system at Elite Zoo North where we would kind of go through every so often and just check all of our exhibits and spot any issues. And, and sometimes, are you serious? On her way out, she spotted the protesters? Oh, that's so frustrating. <laughs> we, we were almost home free. We we're almost home free. Uh, not a big deal. Everything is doing okay. There's definitely improvements to be made, so I want to look at that as well, actually, before we dive into our time-lapse. Um, and we should, for sure, get a female Titan Beetle as well. Let's go ahead and... Um, titan Beetle, Titan Beetle, where are you? It is just the Titan Beetle, yes. RST, there we go. Uh, animal storage is full. Great. Why you gotta do this to me? Gotta go ahead and... I believe our snakes right now are... Both gold tier, if I'm not mistaken. Right, yeah, gold tier. I remember doing this last session, but I just want to double check to make sure. Yeah, they're both gold tier, so we're okay with this. Any other animals that are gold tier that we should keep? The red-eyed tree frogs. Let's see the ones that we have in right now. This is a quick way to check and make sure. We've got one gold, and we've got... Oh, no. we got to get uh, Fernando in here. I'm going to have that song stuck in my head. There we go. Get you in there, Fernando, and you, Tristau, Tristiao. I'm not sure how that is. I don't know how that changes the 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 uh, the sound, but you're going to storage. Um, all right, so that's that taken care of. Back to exhibit trading. Anybody else of particularly high quality in here? Red tree frogs were okay. And I think we're ooh green iguanas. Let's check our iguanas. This is, a, this is a bit messier than we used to do at Elite Zoo North, but I'm also paying attention to more things now. Uh, I figure there's no harm in paying extra attention to the uh, quality of these animals, too. Um, gotta make sure I don't overcrowd them, though. You go to the Trade Center. 
right? Tenok is the, yeah. Um, more donations, better quality, you know, results, happier animals. I mean, there's there's no reason not to. Um, and it looks like we're all good. So let's go ahead and select all. Wow, look at that. 1,500, just like that. 15, 1,500, 15K, just like that. Oh, why am I? <laughs> this is the second time I've done that this week. Uh, it's been a long week. I'll be straight up. It's been a very long week. Um, but uh, yeah, 15,000. Thank you very much. There we go. Easy money. And back to work. Oh, it is it is nighttime. There was a little bit of lighting work I wanted to do today. Uh, hopefully, Fernando's not... When I mean, he's old, yeah, he's elderly, but hopefully he's not too old. And we don't get any more offspring. Uh, I need to keep an eye out for that. Obviously, I want to make sure that we get some more uh, red-eyed tree frog babies. So maybe we should come back at the end of this session as well. Titan beetle is now empty. What did I do here? How did I... How did I... What did I... Did they just both die at the same time? Knowing my luck, that's exactly what happened. But, you know what? That's okay. Because we can just get... Esmeralda and Louise. Sure. Pick you up. Go ahead and pick you up. Can I send you both to the zoo at the same time? No, I can't. One at a time, not the end of the world. We're here. Send you in here. There we go. Male, female. Why are you so very unhappy? Friendliness. I'll keep her over right away. I imagine one's already headed over. And I'm going to pause real quick for a second here. Uh, just because I do want to take advantage of night time. Um, alright, so this welfare will hopefully improve as soon as the keeper comes through. Down over here, we've got you guys cleaned up. Yep, excellent. And over here, we've got you guys cleaned up as well. Male, female. Male, female. Yes, over here. Male, female. And then over here as well, I should hope. Ooh. There we go. Male, female, yeah. I don't know, getting it getting it wrong once, bit and twice shy, right? I got it wrong once. For some reason, I guess it was an oversight or... A death happened right after uh, I, I did some swapping around. But now I'm just like, you know, <laughs> nervously double checking everything. Um, but that's pretty good. We're all set up there. Good bit of money made as well. So that's comfy. Over here, I just want to touch on one thing really quickly. And that is food quality. So there's a bit of a visual bug in the game currently. And hopefully it gets fixed uh, sooner rather than later. But basically the... Um, well, it's fine now. I think it fixes every time you reload the game. Uh, but some of y'all pointed out in the comments that I was going through and I was... Basically, what was happening was... Up here, if I recall correctly, up here it was saying grade 1 and down here it was saying grade 3 or something. And it looked like I switched all the animals down to lower quality food. Uh, but the reality is, is again, it's a, there's a visual bug and uh and and you need to pay attention to what it says up over here and if that doesn't you know convince you if that if that's not good enough then you can always click on the animal and then take a look at their nutrition to see their last meal quality and that'll tell you whether if it's, if it's 50 percent, that means they're grade one um and then if it's 100 percent, it's grade three i don't know if grade two is somewhere in the middle because i'll be honest i don't think i've ever put an animal on grade two it's just been from grade one to grade three you're either you know, eating, you know, off the lap of luxury or out of a trash can at, at the elite zoo, zoos, I suppose. Um, no, never out of a trash can. Unless you're a raccoon, in which case, I don't know, I guess that's a, that's an opportunity for a, uh, for an enrichment item. But, um, no, yeah, so, so we've actually got all of our animals up to grade three food, which is the higher quality food. So thank you all again for, you know, pointing it out and, and expressing your concern. I do really appreciate it. Uh, because it shows that y'all care as well, and that's great. Because uh, we should care for the animals, right? That's kind of a kind of the point here. Um, but yeah, they have been taken care of. They're all getting their gre gre grade three food. It's gonna be one of those days, isn't it? Uh, Alanta here hasn't had a grade three meal yet, so let's just double check because I want to make sure we're covered here. Yeah, grade three food. So let's 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 just be thorough over here. Be thorough over here and select a different llama. There we go. Thank you. Uh, yeah, there we go. So it's just that Alanta hasn't had a new meal yet. Uh, also, I saw it asked in terms of... Okay, avert your eyes for a second as I turn the flashlight on. I don't know how bright it's going to get. Ah, good. That's the way to do it. Just point to the sky and turn it on. Last session, I apologize for that. That blinded me as well. Um, uh, it's been asked if I need to add more uh, feeding spots as more animals join. Eventually, yes. Right now, it seems we're still okay. The animals are still getting their food. Uh, if you don't have enough feeding spaces, but you have... If, if you have more animals than you have space for them to eat, then the keepers will just put the food on the floor. As some of you will remember, it happened... Um, well, many sessions ago now, 
where our, I think our uh, tapirs were being fed off the ground uh, because I put down the wrong uh, food platform or tray or whatever you want to call it. So, uh, so yeah, the game, the game will continue to feed the animals, but you'll get a visual cue that you don't have enough feeding spaces. And with that said, under enrichment, it's a whole different conversation. Uh, we can get rid of the uh, herb scent marker. Oh, it highlights. Is that new? These things didn't use, they didn't use to highlight when you hovered over them. That's got to be new. Oh my god, that's a game changer. Because when we had the Galapagos tortoises in Elitsu North, this was a constant struggle. Uh, finding where we hid all of their uh, little toys and stuff. Um, so that's, uh, that's, 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 a, that's a very nice upgrade. Sorry, I'm going to click on you, I'm going to click on you, and I want to get some more food enrichment. Yeah, I guess so, might as well. The rubbing pillar is really keeping them happy. That's been around since the beginning, and they still haven't gotten bored of it. So that's pretty good, you know. I'd say that's pretty good. Um, but, go ahead and get some food enrichment items for the llama specifically. A lot of repetition here. Not really that many options, unfortunately, but thankfully it doesn't look like, even in hard mode, it seems they don't get bored of their... Um, Food enrichment items it's just a matter of quantity are there enough you know interesting feeding spots for the number of animals that we have now i might actually i'm not a hundred percent sure yet on what today's time lapse is going to focus on uh, i might actually do uh this area i think that's good I mean, wow they really they really want a lot more don't they put another one of these down here i guess even that's only 90 now I wish there were more options. I wish there were more options. It also, actually, you know what? I, I think this is good enough for now. Because it also... Well, none of these get damaged. When they get damaged, it stops counting them up over here. Fine, let's go ahead and add one of these up over here. Nice central location. And that, I think, will go up when we hit play. Um... Right, so for today's time lapse, I might actually come up over here. I have some ideas now for Pachamama's garden. Um... But I do need to do a little bit of research on it, I feel like, uh, which is what's holding me back. The idea basically came uh, through a comment from last session, um, and it's uh, it's really kind of changed around what I want to do with this space, or it's potentially changed around what I want to do in this space. Uh, but to, to do it any justice, I have to do a little bit more research. Um, and so I might what I might do is I might finish off our little museum space over here glad to see y'all like this building i'm really quite proud of it actually i'm really happy with it and seeing all the the positivity in the comments as well reassured me that i wasn't uh it wasn't just because it's my baby but uh but yeah i'm, I'm glad to see y'all enjoy the structure as well um but yeah so we'll finish this off and then maybe we'll head on over to llama lane just to stay in the you know same relative region but uh uh but maybe a, you know a step away i don't i don't think that's the end of the world uh, let's see, what else was there? Right, so it's nighttime now. I wanted to take advantage of that, and I saw a really interesting suggestion um, in the comments again that uh, immediately I was just like, yes, 100%. So we're actually going to lower this flooring again. When I when I first put it down, it was, it was a gap. Uh, we can actually keep it where it is. All right, fine. Let's keep it where it is. We don't have to lower it. What we can just do is we can integrate the pieces that we need to put in. Uh, what I want to do is, and hopefully we have the pieces available for this, I'll head on over to lights, and I believe it's the modern cat. Nope, no, it is most well, certainly not. <laughs> it's okay. We'll find it. I don't want it to be these hanging lamps. Uh, I, I guess it'll be these. All right, fair enough. New world, not modern. New world. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and. Oh, I, I'm not sure if this will work as intended, and the reason why I wanted it wanted to pause at nighttime was because then we can see if it'll work as intended or not um, before you're just putting putting a bunch down and then not knowing. Now let's go ahead and put you right down over here. Is it is it not nighttime enough? Is there no power here? There's gotta be power here. There's power here. Actually opening power reminds me. Our water is all clean. I, I saw the question in the comments um, about like, you know, is it just me or does the water look a little dirty? The water is not dirty. Can confirm. Why? Why? Is, why are you not lighting up? There's supposed to be lights. On pause for a second. Is it just? Oh right, because <laughs> because I got my flashlight on. Of course. Come on, party. Come on now. All right, here we go. Got that Friday feeling going. Well, when you're watching it, it's. Depending on where you are, it's that Saturday feeling, I guess, but you know what I'm getting. 
you know what I'm getting at. Now this, I'm really quite liking how this is feeling. I'm wondering if I, I, I think sometimes it's nice to just have, you know, standard kind of white lighting. Don't think we need to color it over here. I don't think it needs to be like orange or anything like that. I think keep it simple sometimes, right? Just keep it simple here. Pull you over to here. Line you up nicely, hopefully. Need to make an adjustment over here, though. Just gotta duplicate you over slightly. And then gotta duplicate you up to make sure we've got like a similar structure, basically, on both sides. Same thing over here. And pull you down. There we go. There we go. Nice and easy. Cool. Yeah, just a little bit of construction in, uh, in real time. Hope y'all don't mind. It's just better to do... Like, I don't want to do the entire time lapse at night. And... Sometimes when I swap the time of day using the blueprint method, uh, the game just crashes, and I... <laughs> you can imagine, it's not fun to deal with. Um, so I just figured I'd, I'd do this really quickly during our live recording. My management-wise, things are going pretty smoothly right now as well, so you know I'm pretty comfortable with regards to... Uh, to, to, to all that, and uh, you know what, I should have done this, I should have... Rotated you. Because I knew it was going to be a full box all along, but how the edge was going to be done. Actually, you know what? I guess we need both. All right. Go ahead and... Pick a few up. Rotate you like so. And let's go ahead and nudge you over here. Cool. Oh, come on. Sorry, my life. There we go. Lower that back down. Beautiful. Fits snugly. Get you duplicate it over as well. Wonderful. It just, again, it, it has that uh, kind of modern feel to it, right? This kind of lighting. I forget what it's called. Uh, which is funny because my old office had this as well. And I became very familiar with the term at the time. But uh, my old office, I mean, back when I was working a, a full time, like day job and whatnot. But. Uh, it wasn't exactly this, obviously. There wasn't a hole in the roof or anything, but there's this kind of lighting where it's kind of like hidden above, tucked away a little bit, and you kind of get the, the bounced lighting light up the uh, the space. I really like the effect it creates. I really like how it looks. Uh, we could even, you know, take it a step further and do like... Oops. Go all out on it, which is like actually make it... Actually block it off a little bit, but I think as far as like game lighting is concerned, Bounce lighting and stuff is, is difficult to calculate, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's kind of not super intense and realistic. You know, I wouldn't say, as beautiful as uh, Planet Zoo is, I wouldn't say it has photorealistic lighting. I don't think it does bounce lighting all that much, probably to a degree, but but not, not you know, what you need to mimic the actual look of things. But yeah, that feels pretty good, I think, and it lights the space up. It, it's no longer all dark and dingy. Uh, what we might want to do, well, we'll add more lights here as well, for sure. Um, but I just want to get those implemented, and I do wonder if I want to get some more lighting done as well. I mean, I could, uh, uh what, another thing I want to try and experiment with at Elite Zoo South versus what we did at Elite Zoo North is I want to see if I can get a bit more inventive with lighting. Uh, now don't get me wrong, I'm really quite happy with what we did in terms of lighting at Elite Zoo North, um, but we were very heavily reliant on spotlights, and they definitely have a look that I will still be um, using a lot at Elite Zoo South because it looks absolutely gorgeous and I'd be a fool not to. Just because we've done something a hundred times doesn't mean I'm never going to do it again, especially when we've done it a hundred times because it looks pretty or, you know, it looks good or works well or whatever it might be. Um, anyway, sorry, point being, I digress, point being, I want to try and get a bit more, uh, I don't know, a, a exploratory, I guess, with uh, with some of our lighting work. Well, how, when did this rotate? Oh, right, of course. Of course, because it's not uh, perfectly straight. It's okay, we don't talk about that around these parts. Oh, this, this is way off. I'm going to have to fix that during the time lapse. That I noticed. Oh, wait, actually, no, but that's intentional, though. Right, right, that's intentional. Because... By squaring it off, we can create the illusion of it being where it's supposed to be. Hmm. This will require some more work. That's okay. Up. 
I mean, that's what today's time lapse is about after all. Well, the first, at least the first half of today's time lapse, I think we'll just be finishing this off. And then the uh, second half will hopefully be us at Llama Lane. I say hopefully because, let's be honest, folks, you never know. These things end up taking so much longer than I anticipate so often. It's hard to uh, predict, hard to know for sure. But it's good to have a plan. Even though plans never survive contact with the enemy, with the enemy in this case being, you know, my own self-critical self, adjusting the same thing a hundred times over and over again. Ah, see this, this. Come on now. Come on now, game. You know what I need. Why are you not lining up? Anyway, I mean, I, I think we see that this will work, so I can just do the rest of it during the time lapse. That's fine, because I think uh, I think it's pretty pretty clear that this will do the trick. I don't want to just bore you all by by doing you know such a mundane thing in real time. I find that's that's one of the best things in a time lapse is that it makes all that mundane stuff seem like it's basically not even happening. Um, makes it a lot more bearable. Now, that's not all though. I want to experiment with some more lighting stuff uh, and then we'll let the sun come through and then we'll uh, go through and do a time lapse. Does this work? Kind of. Lighting it up is going to be a pain, but it does kind of work. Come on now. Do like feel of it. There's just something about the soft glow that is um, really quite appealing. Come on now. Like not too harsh. It's not too in your face. It's integrated. I think that's I think that's the thing that I'm most after is like integrated lighting. Uh, just feels. Oops. Just feels. A bit more thought out, I suppose. A bit more cared for. It 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 it, it lines up with our design ethos, I would say. So, I'm gonna try and do that as much as possible. There we go. Will you? Oh. Every time. <laughs> Every time. Reselect it. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Thank you. It's not super bright, but it's something. And we will do more lighting. I'm not saying this is all the lighting we're going to have in the zoo um, throughout throughout the entire zoo, but this is just some little experimental like accent stuff that I wanted to try out um, and, and see if it worked. Because that way, once we know it works in the future, when I'm time-lapsing, I can just pull the things that I know work and I can implement them. Like, again, it's not... It's not our main lighting, it's not our, you know, big lights that light up the whole space or light up the, the buildings and stuff, but it does, uh, bu it builds an atmosphere, it builds an atmosphere, and that's super important uh, when you're designing an experience, and a zoo is an experience. Or at least, I mean, hopefully a zoo is an experience, if it's not, then I shouldn't be charging. There we go. And just beautifies the spaces a bit more, and people, people are happier, and when people are happier, they're more willing to spend money like look at that that looks beautiful it's so subtle it's so like it's it's barely anything but it makes such a big difference um to to the overall experience and we can also we can color code this stuff as well i don't know how i feel about that for these lights whoops uh we will be doing color coded lighting for uh actually i guess i do need to group you we will be doing color coded lighting for some things but i don't know if this is one of those things come on now like how do you look green yeah, see, it just looks tacky, I think. Looks a little tacky, I would say. Um, maybe I'll experiment with it later, but for now, leave it as is. For now. Go ahead and pick you up again, buddy. I just want to see how it looks with, like, a longer set of benches over here. I imagine it'll look good. I, I, don't, I don't think it'll suddenly go from looking nice and classy to overbearing and hideous. But, sometimes those things are, like an inch apart. <laughs> a fine line between between like classy modern and hideous modern. Uh, I don't think that's fine. I think that should be good. Pull you out a little bit more. There we go. There we go, I think. Moment of truth. If I pull you out over here. Yeah, that looks uh, right-ish. Let me fix that a little bit. I wish... I, I, th this is the one thing that always bogs me down. I wish I was quicker at getting perfect like alignments and stuff. 
Uh, I wish the benches could be placed using the gizmo. Because they can't be. I was like, hang on a second. Can they be? They can't be. <laughs> it's like maybe I'm misremembering. No. I am not. Do that. There we go. Beautiful. Yes. I think so, at least. Hopefully, I'll agree. Go ahead and select all of you. And bring you over here. Nice. I think that makes a world of difference. Yeah. I think that makes a world of difference. And we'll, uh,. We'll apply similar treatments up over here. I mean, I, I in a lot in a lot of senses, I do like the um, I do like the uh, kind of darker with spotlights vibe. I when I say spotlight in this case, I mean like spot colors except with lighting. Um, I do kind of like that a lot, but we'll see if uh, I don't think it's gonna stick because it's very 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 poor design <laughs> in the sense that it's not a good idea. It's not safe. It's not a hundred things, you know. It was also pointed out to me that I have these really nice wavy benches that I used in the center, but then for some reason I use those square benches over here. Great eye, good spot, excellent point. We should use these nice wavy benches. I think they work nicely, I think they do the trick, I think they match the aesthetic of the space as well. Uh, they're not as, like, done up, we don't have to go in and, you know, build a custom covering for them or anything like that, but we don't always have to do that, right? Plus that helps with our part count as well. We don't lag to death anytime too soon. There we go. That ought to be that ought to be good. We'll keep an eye on like guest happiness and stuff as well. Do I still need nighttime? I'm still gonna do some lighting right now. Um Good do. I mean, let's go ahead and see if we can't get some of that uh oh man, it just <laughs> so much more alive now. Come on now. Come on, there we go. Let's see how this looks. Where are we? Here we are. Get you down over here. I'd put you down. Yeah, just like a little over there. Actually, put it down to the bottom. There we go. Another thing I wish the game did is kind of shrink the gizmo as you zoom in. A lot of 3D software does that. As you zoom out, you can see that as you zoom out, it 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 expands. But as you zoom in, it only shrinks so much. So when you're like this, it can be a struggle to pick the right axis. Um, It'd be really nice to see it shrink as you as you got past a certain point. Allowing you to more easily select what you want. Alright, this is looking nice as well, but dare I say, no surprise there. I think that's good. and get rid of you. It's also weird how money's now like a non-issue for us. Feels so much more comfortable like experimenting with these things i don't know to think just a handful of episodes ago we were wondering about hard mode medium difficulty like should we switch for financial reasons i mean for for fun like gameplay fun reasons and mechanics reasons is one thing uh by which i mean you know like having to check on enrichment and whatnot but doing it for financial reasons it's a whole other thing i'm glad that uh, i'm glad we didn't i'm glad we didn't i totally understood the concerns and i felt uh, i felt them as well but now we can say that we made it through that struggle, right? And uh, come out on top. Hopefully we stay on top. Hopefully we stay on top. Who knows? Polar Bear Mafia had something to say at Elite Zoo North. Who knows, uh, you know, if the Lion Mafia is going to come through here or... Who knows? There are very expensive animals for this region as well as the thing, like to feed and whatnot. So it's not like we've taken on the most challenging of animals yet in fact yeah no, we haven't got the jaguars we haven't you know got lions or anything yet and for those of you asking again just want to mention yes africa is abs absolutely destined for elite zoo south uh it's just a matter of you know getting there when we're satisfied with uh, with prior projects and whatnot uh what i think i'm going to do is based on your comments as well many of you i would say most if not all of you are on board with um kind of finishing off what we've started first before moving on with new animals. I've got some exciting plans as well for like the new animals and how to integrate them and stuff and uh, and and what I want to kick things off with, but we'll we'll touch on that when the time comes. Um, oh, oh no. Come on now. Yeah. Uh, we'll touch on that when the, when the time comes. For now though, I am I'm definitely happy with uh with yeah, just making sure we we 
if not 100% finish things, then, you know, 95 or 90% finish things so we can, we can feel like we've made progress um, rather than just throwing stuff together. That's something I want to avoid is that feeling of like just things have been thrown together to, to move on as quickly as possible. I felt like at one point that's kind of where we got to with Elite Zoom North. And I didn't realize it as much at the time, but I, I was I wasn't happy with the end results. And then when we had to go back and and you know fix it for every single enclosure, I feel like it was getting very repetitive. And I want to avoid that. I think it's just more fun for everybody involved. Because uh, as you can see already right now, with us spending a couple of episodes beautifying, it can get a little like, okay, well, can we can we add some more animals now? Um, now can you imagine that times you know a hundred or even just times ten? I can. Terrible thing to imagine. So let's try and avoid that. A little bit of this kind of stuff early will save us a lot of time and effort and energy in the future. Plus it allows us, again, to experiment with things while uh, they're at a smaller scale. And that way we know what we can, you know, repeat down the line, what we have to avoid, what we can do more. We can't do it all. Oh. For example, our little, uh, what are they called, bollards? These little, uh, y'all y'all were mentioning in the, in the comments, these little things. Like, a small experiment gives us affirmation that that's something we can use across the zoo now, right? So, little things like that. It's, it's beautifying, but it's also serving a much greater function than uh, aesthetic. And, you know, aesthetic matters as well. <laughs> Not to downplay aesthetic. Beauty of a, of a space matters as well. Uh, where are we? Here we are. How do I want to light you up? And why are you disappearing off in the distance when I... Hilarious. Um, can I even align you? Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Here we go. These ones. I wonder if I want to color these ones. I have to go with a nice, kind of bright... Yeah, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. As our as our South America color. Not even its final form because it was selected. Do that. Yeah, that's nice. Again, this is like subtle lighting, right? It's uh, it's accent lighting. It's not um it's not our uh this is not what's going to light the whole zoo up and and we're just going to let people go by and <laughs> Try and not stumble over themselves. I doubt, I doubt the luminance levels we're hitting right now is good enough for like someone with night blindness, for example. Night blindness is absolutely a thing. It's when, um, it's when your eyes are less sensitive, uh, and, and as a result, if there isn't enough light coming through, you can't. Like if it's not bright then you can barely see. Worse off than, you know, on average when you when you don't have night blindness and, and it's dark and you can't see. It's even worse than that. So, you know, if you can imagine. Uh all right, I think I think I think I think this is good enough. I think this is enough, you know, temp sort of placing of lighting. I really like the reflectivity of uh of this stuff. I'm so happy. I just realized that this is actually custom work. This this isn't what the shop cover is like that we put these lights down ourselves. It actually looks so good. Um, just lighting the space up, bringing it to, to life. Quite happy with that. And actually, zooming out here reminds me, let's point out that we had litter up front. Nah, looks like we're good right now. I can't believe, like, does isn't it extra effort to litter right when you're at the exit of a space? It's... <laughs> I can imagine the mentality. It's like, oh, oh crap, I'm still carrying this trash. And we're about to go back to the car. Well, I don't want this trash in my car. So whatever. I'll just throw it on the floor. And it's somebody else's problem now. God, I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. Um, uh, do we really need more? Like right at the entrance? Here, if you have a receipt. Throw it in here. Receipts in the... In the... In the, rec in the receptacles? It's terrible. Uh, zoo ticket price is fair... Ticket price is fair, and you say what? Ticket price is... No, not you, the adult. Ticket price is fair. Alright, cool. So we're good in terms of pricing. Let's go ahead and unpause. 
Uh, I do want to take a look at some things. Oh, we must have sped up by mistake. I was like, why, why is the animation so weird? Um, so what I want to look at is our previous inspection report. Llama Lane and Croc Rock not doing too hot. What are the issues over here? We'll check this out while the sun rises, and then we'll go into our time lapse. Uh, what don't you like? What don't you like? Last meal quality. Well, you haven't eaten a good meal yet, I guess. They're coming through. Species toy enrichment. Okay. Uh, that, that's gotta be it. Just toys. Not for the llamas, but for the crocs. Get the water jet, I guess. Do a nice big mud bath. Yeah. Do the water jet. Wait for them to keep cool, I guess. Sure. What does that do for your happiness? Probably you there. We can get rid of... Where are sprinklers? Oh, right. That's these sprinklers down over here, right? Yeah. Get rid of the large ball, I suppose. Sure. Bored of it. They're like super done with that ball. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's good. A lot better. That and then the llamas, right? The llamas were not happy either, I think it was. Let's check over here. I think it was. Yeah, llama lane. Alright, let's fix that. Um, oh, well, you know what? It must have been the enrichment. We've already fixed that. We've already gone through and added, uh, added some items for them, right? So that's good. Money's looking good as well. If we take a look at financial management, we're making, yeah, nearly 20 a year. So that's comfy. More than comfy. And what about our advertising, actually? I just realized. Marketing is still active. Indeed, it is. It auto-renews, so that should be good. We've already spent close to 60k on marketing. I think we've made that money back. I think I'm happy with uh, how that's been going. Uh, vets are doing some research. Yeah, that's fine. Stick with what you've got going right now. What else do we need? I could take a look at crime. We're fine. Guess we learned the most about llamas. Pretty cool. Audio guides sold. Like the level of detail. I'm with a visit using them. 0%. What? Species educated about 0. What? It's pretty cool that... Um... Hang on. That all this stuff is collected like this. Oh, the Titan Beetles, isn't it? Right, 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 right. Of course, because this... Got disconnected. When the space became empty. That I checked. That I checked. Yeah, there we go. Now we're all good. Education bonus. Is it only ever three? Is it ever higher? Conservation. Good stuff. Running costs. Guest reach. Pretty cool the level of detail you can get. Pretty cool. Nice. Education research complete. Yeah, so vet research definitely helps research rating. Education, how many education bonuses have been researched and collected? I'm sorry, what? And then vets doing advanced research. The number of vets actively doing advanced research out of the total number of vets in the zoo. Um, hang on a second, hang on a second. How many education bonuses have been researched and collected? Why is it only 60%? Is it not just based off of the animals we have? If we look at vet research, education bonuses are these. Which animal have we not done it for? You're all done. You're all done, 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 you're all done. Yeah, everyone's all done, so. Why does the game... Oh, unless... Does the advanced research count as, as another step as well? Okay, let's see. Uh, Brandy Lee, let's get you on the Eastern Brown Snake. Just so that I can check. Um, education. Still 60%. I don't know. That's weird. But it's okay. Education rating is pretty high still. You know, five stars is about as high as it can get. Uh, Alright, this is good. This is good. Facilities. I think we're fine across the board here. What's wrong with you? No vendor? I might need to get some more vendors, actually. No, what's wrong with you? Oh, that's synchronized prices, right? Yeah. I mean, I should definitely synchronize all prices. It just makes it so much easier to, 
to manage this stuff. Cool. Actually, do we need more vendors? I don't think so. Sun is up, so we can just about get into our time lapse in just a moment's time. We want to take a look at guest needs real quick and see if we're addressing the needs properly, because that is something top of mind for me. Happiness, there's not a lot to do here. There's plenty to do. What about you? You need the toilet? Well, you're heading to monkey business. Good, good, good. These kids, what are your problems? Oh my god, are they like triplets? No. But in, in this view mode, they look like the exact same. What's your problem? You're not happy. This place looks so cool. Not happy. Okay, fair enough. You do you. Why are you so upset? Energy is low. Okay, they're getting happier now, seeing the animal. Well, hopefully they'll they'll go and sit down. Heading to Pachamama's garden. These benches are getting used up right away. These guys look tired as well. No, they're not tired. They're just unhappy. I've been to worse places. Why? I wish... It would be a bit more transparent about what's making people unhappy. These benches are getting a lot of use, so that's that's making me happy. Uh, in fact, I don't think I put lighting down over here, but that's because we're not done customizing these anyway. I'll take a look at the options for that. Um, what about guests over here? I've been to worse places. What does that mean? <laughs> I've spent too much time walking. Yeah, this is starting to get a little big, isn't it? Into the zoos. Oh, I guess you just haven't seen anything yet. Ooh, lots of unhappy people over here. Why are you so unhappy on your way out? The zoo is terrible. This zoo is terrible. Really? Really? What makes you say that? That's the difference between constructive criticism and uh, and just being. Being a terrible person. I mean, these guys, this, this person got robbed, so that's fair. <laughs> I mean, why you hate, hate hate the zoo? Anyway, it's fine. Uh, apparently, we have a lapse in security. Aren't there any benches at all here? Alright, fine. Find one more benches. Never coming back here again. Someone managed to steal from me and get away with it. Where's the security? Listen. Security's coming. Security is coming. I should definitely add more. Nope. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Contraceptives. I gotta do something about this. Stop it. Okay. Apparently they breed for life, so this might become a problem. We might need to uh, find a way to work around this. We'll we'll see. I'll, I'll sort that stuff out in a moment. I want to... What was I working on? Right. Security. We have the money. Go ahead and get some more security in. Um, staff. Security. I thought we were doing okay for security, honestly, but... I guess we do still have some gaps couple here and there. You have to like work hard to find the gaps in security. We have like some top tier thieving going on over here. Up buddy down over here. We, we're not going to assign them um, work zones. We don't need to assign them work zones. They're fine to kind of roam free. Oh sorry. I'm like dropping them in the middle of an exhibit. There we go. And I just noticed as well my workload for our keeper over here. Let's go ahead and level some of them up. That should help. South America, yeah, South America is super busy. South America is super busy. Overall, I mean, we've done, I think, a decent job staying on top of leveling most of our uh, workers up. Definitely better than Litsu North. Come a long way from there. And most of these guys are ranked up all the way. Let's go ahead and rank you guys up too. Wonderful. Wonderful. And... Wonderful. I think we're about ready for our time lapse. Got uh, got some good sunshine. Clear skies. Oh, okay, it's, that's not clear skies. <laughs> but it feels like clear skies because these clouds are not casting shadows, so it might as well be. But uh, yeah, let's let's go ahead and dive on into our time lapse. Again, the hope is to complete this uh, entire structure over here, and then maybe also get some work done over here. Uh, ideally, we'll complete both. Realistically, we might just complete one, but. Uh, We'll complete none if we don't get started. So, folks, uh, let's hop right into it. It's time lapse time. All right, folks, I am super pleased with the end results of this time lapse. I honestly, it's probably this this capuchin area it, with the building and the uh, actual, um, you know, 
uh, animal space as well together are probably my favorite um, build so far. Almost, almost certainly. It's hard for me to pull myself away from, uh, you know, our Bengal tigers. Uh, that enclosure is pretty, you know, was was quite the quite the bit of effort as well. Um, or the orangutan enclosure, like there there are a lot of you know contenders for various reasons. Uh, but I feel like I feel like this enclosure and building combo together has a blend of technical, you know, elements of interest, uh, aesthetic elements of interest, um, work struggle, right? You know, when you, when you, it, there's that sweat equity, right? When you put that, when you put that effort into something, it feels that much better. It, well, you know, as long as provided it comes out good, uh, it feels, uh, it feels that much better. Uh, and if it comes out bad, it feels that much worse because you feel like you put in so much effort for anyway, anyway, I don't know this, I, I'm, I'm, um, I'm pleased. Uh, now, what I decide to do ultimately is uh, extend this, complete this whole lighting uh, setup because I feel like I didn't want to forget that was the first thing. And then I continue that same aesthetic from the top to the bottom. I, I discussed last session that I might want to explore a uh, maybe a classical aesthetic uh, for the first floor exterior. I, I thought about doing something even more kind of historical, traditional for the first floor. Uh, but I, I realize that this building has a really nice look, and it's like, why, why break that? I should continue that aesthetic and uh, and, and and make a solid unit over here, uh, rather than mishmash too hard. I I also toy around with this green trim, adding another one of those uh, somewhere in the middle, but I didn't quite like how it looked. And, and I have seen some of you mention that I should get rid of the one at the top as well, which I could do. Um, it just for me, it felt like a tie-in to the region, but maybe maybe it's just kind of ugly, and I can I can get rid of it. Uh, but yeah, so as you can see, those little corner spaces as well at the top left and the top right, where the two levels kind of shift and the, the curve begins. Uh, I was able to put down some uh, mulch and put down some plants, so that fills up the spaces over here to the left and to the right. And I touch on that a little bit after the time lapse as well. And down here at the bottom, well, first I obviously change the, uh, the the wood colors and, and get some variation going. But at the bottom, uh, I realized it'd be really nice as well, or it might be really nice to have some lighting down there too. Um, to uh, kind of, well, I mean, to, to, to light up the, 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 the ground uh, very in that very kind of subtle way, similar to how we have around our benches, right? So the struggle of picking pieces over here as we try to get all the uh, the light pieces, noticing a couple of issues actually here and there. Uh, but wow, it's so much faster in time lapse. <laughs> it's so much faster in time lapse. Actually, that makes, that reminds me. I wanted to touch on something uh, for a couple of episodes now. I've seen many of y'all mention in the comments that uh, you're, you're curious how you know. Uh, how I make these things or or how, how I'm able to like be patient enough to make them or you're you're uh, comparing your work to, to, to stuff I, I just wanted to touch on something really quickly in case uh, in case it's not crystal clear um, the time lapse makes things look so much easier than they actually are um, so if you're struggling with your builds and you're thinking you know either myself or someone else you've watched on on youtube with the time lapse or or whatever it might be uh you know oh they're they're able to do it so quickly so easily they make it look natural uh why am i struggling if, if you're if you're feeling that way i, I just want to mention remember that the time lapse makes it seem so much easier than it actually is now i'll be honest i've been doing so much of this that with um with just the hours put into building things in the uh in Planet Zoo, I've gotten familiar with pieces, I've gotten familiar with limitations, I've gotten familiar with the shortcut keys, and so it is a little bit faster, but it took me a long time to get to that comfort level with all these things. Uh, and even then, once I got there, this stuff still takes time, it's just because it's it's in a time lapse, it feels like it's going by in a breeze. So I just wanted to say that because I saw a lot of people uh, mentioning it, and uh, I've seen actually many of y'all have just picked the game up or just got it gifted or what, what have you, so, you know, hope y'all are enjoying. Uh, but I, I've also seen, you know, many comments along those lines of just like, man, I, I just don't know, like, what am I doing wrong? How can I, you know, get good, so to speak? Um, and honestly, it's just a matter of, uh, take your time, uh, don't judge yourself too harshly at first. And I, I don't want to sound like I'm giving a lecture over here, but I, I just want to express again, like, it, it looks easy only because it's sped up like 600 times, uh, uh, or sorry, six times regular speed, 600% is the number you have to put in but it, it, that's why it looks so easy but but this stuff it, it always takes time the only thing that becomes easier with time is uh 
again, knowing those limits, knowing where the, the pieces are, all that kind of stuff. So keep at it. You know, practice makes perfect, as they say. Um, don't uh, don't give up hope. As much of a challenge as it can be, sometimes it can be it can be a real struggle. Sometimes getting things to work exactly as you want them to, especially especially when the game decides not to cooperate or behaves differently. Uh, you know, here and there, as it as it sometimes does. Like you know, one shortcut key doesn't work for all things. Like how you can't bring the gizmo up for benches. That can get really annoying. It's like why not? Why not game? <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyway, that's uh, that's my little lecture. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Um, I didn't didn't mean to come across as a, as a lecture. Obviously, I just I don't know, just wanted to. Uh, I'm excited to see more people exploring, you know, wild builds and stuff. Uh, and uh, and it's just it's something that definitely is a struggle at first. It was for me as well. Um, you know, before I started the series and even well into it, things are still often a struggle. Um, and and again, you know, if you're making some cool stuff, um, feel free to share uh, in our Discord. Um, now, on the topic of struggles. The game crashed. That's not the only time it crashes this time lapse. And as you can see, it sets us far back. Uh, I don't know why. I think it's got something to do with this enclosure, perhaps. But every so often, it's not consistent. It's it's on and off. But every so often, the uh, game starts chugging when I put a piece down or when I duplicate a piece or when I uh, copy... It's, it's, it's a couple of different things, all piece related, but I think they're only happening in when I'm within the bounds of this habitat. And it's got to be maybe it's like the piece counting the habitat or something is, is making it so laggy. I'm not 100% sure what it is, but I sincerely hope it doesn't keep chasing me around the zoo. Um, and, and today it kind of escalated where it went from just lagging every once in a while to straight up just crashing on me, which was not pleasant. Uh, so now you can see I'm, I'm sort of like a like extremely I'm extremely paranoid. I'm just constantly saving because we lo we lost a lot of work. Again, it seems like it's nothing because it was you know sped up, but it was a lot of work that we lost. And even redoing it right now hurt my soul. I was just like, man, it's been a long enough day as it is. <laughs> just cooperate. Um, but yeah, that's why you can see I'm like constantly saving. Uh, looking around as well. Again, going back in to repair some of these missing pe pieces and parts. Uh, making sure that, again, I, I want to be able to call this section at the very least complete. Um, even if we aren't able to do this and a little bit of something else, I want to be able to at least call this thing done so we can move on from it. Uh, and, and like I often say, nothing's ever really complete. Uh, and just to clarify what I mean by that, I just mean like you can always go back and improve things, right? So uh, while I am after today at a point where I never have to come back to this space again, I don't think pretty sure I got everything covered and I'm, I'm perfectly satisfied with it and happy with it I wouldn't be surprised if you know a handful of sessions down the line I go you know what we could really do we could really just rework a little thing here or there so yeah maybe we'll come back to it but for now for now I'm super pleased with it and actually I think this is one of the last things we do is uh, putting on these store covers uh, I was really trying to figure out what I wanted to do for the store covers and uh, what I like about the interior walls um, in the bottom floor is not only does it embrace that kind of juxtaposition of old versus new but it also reminds me of those museum spaces where they get there's another the other crash uh those museum spaces where they get a little tacky just a little tacky and the walls and stuff are all inspired by the space you're in or like the era it's supposed to represent or whatever uh and i've seen all manner of museums do it i've seen you know some of the biggest museums do it some of the smallest museums do it it's just a, it's a thing i guess so i thought i'd like touch on that a little bit uh, and have these like you know historical walls uh on the ground floor and then on the second floor we're a lot more modern thought that'd be fun um now finally gonna put the name down over here and again super laggy uh and, and so i only put the name down of the building and not of the enclosure i'll i'll, I'll, I'll ramble on about that after the time lapse so for now let me just highlight the name of this building is camp capuchin I uh, really liked it. I got a lot of great suggestions. It was difficult to pick, but this one stood out because I really like the tie-in to our whole, you know, dig site, archaeology, slash museum kind of thing. Um, so yeah, Camp Capuchin is the name. I hope you all enjoyed this build. I hope you all enjoy uh, the look of it, the feel of it. As always, if you do or do not, let me know down below. Make your voice heard. But for now, I'm going to pass it back to regular speed, Party Elite. All right, folks, we are back from yet another what seems to be cursed time lapse. 
but it's okay. We uh, we made it through. We got everything done that needed to be done for me to at least walk away feeling satisfied from today's session because otherwise, oh man, uh, <laughs> it was a struggle, but it's okay. Camp Capuchin is up and running. So the idea here is uh, this building has its own name and the enclosure will have a name as well. And as much as I'd like to get that name in today, the game has already crashed two times. It's been stuttering wildly while I work over here. So I'm just going to stop tempting fate and we'll add the name next session right at the beginning. I've got one picked out. It's a great name. I wanted to get it in today, but it's a lot of letters. And honestly, with every letter I was putting down at Camp Capuchin, like uh, you know, over here, my heart was like skipping a beat. And I'm pretty sure when your heart skips this many beats, it's dangerous. Uh, and, and the enclosure name is is actually even longer, I think, if if I have the letter, letter count right. But anyway, anyway, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get the name in at the top of the next session. For now, though, Camp Capuchin, I really love the uh, the name here because it, I'm sure I talked about it during the time lapse, but in case I didn't, it's got that, it, it's got that um, archaeologist dig site feel to it. Like, ah, yes, you know, base camp Capuchin, if it was a mountain climb, I guess. But but it, it, it resonated with me the moment I read it. Um, and, and it worked so nicely for our little building that maybe went from being a dig site into a full-fledged um, into a full-fledged uh, museum, if you will. Uh, but then on the inside, yeah, going for the, uh, you know, kind of old versus new aesthetic still trying to further that juxtaposition as much as possible. Uh, pretty happy with how this turned out. Honestly, I'm glad I did not go sort of classical at the bottom and modern at the top on the exterior. I feel like this works really nicely and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing it all lit up at night as well. I think it'll be quite nice having the, uh, you know, the little lighting by the, by, by the base there and then the lighting across the top as well. I think it'll look really nice. And then on the inside as well, you know, we've got like, it just feels substantial having even, like, this kind of depth and stuff be be built in. I might want to push it a little bit further over here, actually, now that I look at it. So nervous with every little... Looks like it's... It's been fluctuating. Like, during the time lapse, it's like sometimes it would uh, operate super chuggy, like this. And then sometimes it would be super smooth. Okay, I'm, I think I'm done tempting fate for now. We'll, we'll, we'll sort that out. We'll do the final touch... Um, next time as well. But this is, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with this. This feels, I mean, awesome. I think uh, I, I'm, I've, I've gotten a lot of comments about getting rid of the um, guest entrance, and I'm, I'm thinking about that. I just like how it looks. I guess uh, we'll do something more special with the wall there. I just, I, I feel like it makes it. Um, I don't know, there's something there. Though guests aren't using it, so it's kind of useless. We could get rid of it and just. Put down some trees and stuff instead i suppose that might be the smarter smarter choice but um but overall I mean, i'm just i'm really pleased with how this space is looking the colors the shapes the uh, little fixes i mean like i love the little planner box fixes as well for the pathing i'm really happy with this i don't normally uh like i'm one of those people that like doesn't often like their own work like you know i'll be happy with my own work but I won't be like overjoyed by it, um, but I'm I'm really really pleased with uh, with how this has turned out, and uh, I think it's uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I think it's better than anything we built at Elitsu North, especially as far as structures are concerned. We had some really cool structures at Elitsu North, but this is uh, I don't know. That's it's uh, I think it's a step above. I I hope y'all agree. Um, I I think it. Oh dear. One sec. Give me work with me here. Work with me here. Give me a sec. You know what? Let's, uh... Not not you. Go down over here. There we go. Gotta just find me a snake. But I would say it, uh... Tips the scales in favor of Elitsu South. Okay. That was a lot of effort <laughs> for, for a... For a... For a C-grade... Oh, no, no, no. It wasn't a C grade pun. It was a, it was an S grade pun. It's got the letter S here. This is like a visual gag. Now we've gone from puns to visual gags. Like, you, know, you, you, you can 
I don't see the, the S there. Anyway, um, right, so I'm pretty pleased with this. Let's go ahead and do one thing that's been nagging me for a while now, and that is get rid of all this nonsense. And instead, I uh, will be able to connect it down here later, I guess. It's not working right now, but we don't need this connection right now, and honestly, it's kind of hideous. Um, I guess the security guard runs his loop this way, which, I mean, I don't know why you do that, buddy, but sure. I guess, I suppose. We can even, like, even if we do... Of course not. I was gonna say, even if we do this, it'll look nicer. There we go. Or actually, with flattened terrain on, yeah, now it'll let me hook it up. So let's go ahead and do block path, go ahead and align to grid, pop this up a little bit further, and go back here. You select the grid, and get rid of that, please. There we go. No, no angle snap, please. There we go. So much cleaner, so much cleaner. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm. This is great. I'm so happy. Now, unfortunately, we didn't get to do any of the work over here, even though I was super excited to get to it. We'll, we'll get to it next session, and maybe I'll have my research done for Pachamama's Garden as well. Now, I've seen a lot of comments with regards to the symmetry, and many of y'all are actually not a fan of it. That's perfectly fair. Uh, so it's kind of put me back on the fence. It's like I don't know how I feel uh, about the, um, the coloration of the soil, soil, or, or you know, if we keep it as the, uh, the previous kind of dirt color. Um, so keep letting me know your thoughts down below. I haven't, like, I'm not set in stone. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not going to make, not going to make that pun. Stop it, party. Too many in a row. Uh, I'm, I'm trying, I'm not going <laughs> to, like, my sentence naturally wants to put, no. Uh, I'm, I'm not trying to be, uh, difficult about it or anything. Like, I'm, I'm curious to know what y'all think. I'm moving away from that conversation. Um... But uh, yeah, pretty happy with today's session. I hope you all are as well. This is where we're going to call it. I think we made some good progress. We did some good management stuff as well. Got the lighting in. Not in a complete sense, obviously, but just started experimenting with some uh, some options here and there, which I think was uh, I think it was a good call, taking advantage of uh, of the uh, the night start, if you will. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to... What are you up to, buddy? Pretty cool actually seeing these guys doing their jobs. They don't often get the uh, the time of day they don't get the appreciation they deserve um you know working to keep our animals happy and, and you know i just actually realized we didn't spend much time actually looking at animals today at all uh which is always i i try to spend some time with the animals just because i feel like it's fun to catch them all, all, all we did was <laughs> well we literally caught some llamas today doing stuff they shouldn't be doing that's about all, all we got up to today though but uh it's okay we'll give them We'll give them some more attention next time as well. But yeah, super pumped for next session. Hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, I certainly did. Well, you know, apart from the crashing, but listen, that's, uh, we can ignore that. Um, if you did enjoy, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment. Actually, hold on a second. Wait, no, no, before you go, don't, don't, don't go yet. I forgot to point this out last session, and I just remembered that I forgot to point it out this session as well. But it was pointed out to me on Twitter and in the comments that, um, we've got a couple of shapes over here. We've got, uh... Oh, now I'm seeing Chucky, like the doll from the horror movies from way back when. But we have like a, a young boy or a young lady over here, and we've got a little rabbit over here in like a sphinx position. And um, for, I mean, those of you that know, <laughs> I need to make sure I never touch the terrain over here ever again, ever. Because uh, what are the chances that we would get uh, a bunny shape of all things? I mean, sure we've got this as well, but but the bunny, I mean, kind of it's a little little a little little extra, little extra. All right, folks, if you enjoyed, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of, um, and you know how I go about doing it. As I always say, I read through all the comments. It does make a very big difference. So if you have any thoughts, you know, on what we did today, on what we're doing in the future any other insights or inspirations or anything like that. Like, again, I, I do read through all the comments. It's part of the reason why Pachamama's Garden has been, yes, delayed by... Uh, I mean, actually, the reason why it's really been delayed now is because of uh, the, the crashing. If, if, we, if we didn't have the crashing, we probably would have made some uh, progress at Llama Lane. But anyway, I, I digress. Point being, um, when, when you have an insight or an idea or whatever it might be, feel free to share it because, uh, it, you know, it, it sends me down a path sometimes. Uh, not every idea can be implemented, obviously. Not every idea uh, can can make an impact, obviously. But uh, even though it does make an impact in the zoo itself, it makes an impact in our approach to it. Because, you know, I always look into references. I look into ideas 
Uh, and I, I, I like to explore it and uh, I don't know, I feel like it's a fun way to go about things. But my rambling has been gone on too long. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.